Hi, lovely ladybirds. So, today, it is Thursday today, and you might notice that once again, ladybirds, in our Thursday, there's a little die graph there that's popping up. And I thought I'd let you know this one, because I know this is not always the easiest one to remember, but, oh, sorry, that's not the best. <laughs> I've ever done there, is it? I might give myself another try at that one. Okay. Now, we've got that digraph there, which is the... or the... where you're making the soft sound or the hard sound in our phonics. So I thought I'd um, share that with you. So we've got our Thursday today. And uh, it is also, as part of our Thursday, it's the 25th day in February. Now, I don't expect you to know this, but I just thought to show you our interest. 25, if we were to partition it and split it up, then we have got our 5, and I've done a different type of whole part part here. I've done our 5, and then the 2 is not actually a 2, as in 1, 2, because if we had 1, 2, it would be 1, 2, and the 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, that's not seven, is it? So our two is actually a 20, which means two tens. So we've got a 20 there. Now, that's our day today. So what fun things are we going to be doing? Well, we are going to have our maths meeting today with some intergalactic maths. Should we fun? So that's our maths meeting. Then we are going to have our phonics time too. So another fun little phonics challenge for you today. Got another fun choosing time challenge. We can't get enough of those, can we, ladybirds? Um, we've also got a little maths challenge for you, which will be fun um, this afternoon. And at the end of the day, it will be time for a really fantastic book, okay? Which would be really lovely for you to do. So today, we are going to do a little bit about our, um, for our mass meeting, a little bit about what this means, a little bit about what this means. I wonder if you remember those symbols that we started to do. This one is when we add numbers together. So that's when we're doing adding, and we might words, use words like plus, or um, add more, or all together. Are we adding things together? This one is where we are subtracting, or we might take away. Now, when we have a go at doing these challenges, we are going to use some things that I found which I'm pretending they're from space. They're not really from space. But I'm pretending that they're special, special space rocks from a planet. So I thought that would be fun. So I wonder if it, I'm going to tell you a little story, and I wonder if you can have a go at joining in at home. You might like to have a go at using some manipulatives in front of you. So it might be that you want to use, and that special word manipulatives, because I use that quite a bit, don't I? That special word means it's things that you can use in your maths to help you. So it could be pasta, it could be tomatoes, it could be apples, it could be grapes, it could be um, any healthy food like that. It could be that you use little little gemstones or pebbles or whatever you have at home cars whatever you like okay i'm going to use intergalactic stones so i thought that would be good now i'm going to tell you a little story i'm going to show you my desk so you can see. okay and i want you to see if you can work out what you think has happened am i adding or am i having a go at subtracting do you think in my story and what do you think happens so, first of all, three space um, rocks are discovered on a distant, far away planet. An astronaut comes along and finds two more space rocks. And he wants to add them to his collection. How many 
would he have all together? Now, I wonder, ladybirds, what do you think I'm doing there? Am I adding or am I subtracting? What do you think? Maybe you could now think about that whole part part model and see if you could use your words to describe what I'm doing. Pause the video and have a think about that now. Okay, ladybirds. Well, I've got this part is three, this part is two, all together. My astronaut would have one, two, three, four, five space rocks. And what's happened there is that my number has got larger. And if my number is getting larger, then that means that I'm doing my super adding. Okay. So that's what one of my challenges was. Now, are you ready for my next one? Now, this time, astronaut has got all of these space rocks in their collection. Now, oh, I wonder the best way, oh, because I can move these, I'm going to do my good lining up to help me with my counting to see how many I have in my story. So my astronaut has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight space rocks. However, ladybirds, a cheeky alien came along and took away four of the space rocks. How many were left? What do you think? Okay, ladybirds. Now, what was I doing that time in the story? Was I doing the adding or was I using a subtraction? Or a take away. What do you think? <gasps> wow, I think I've taken away here, haven't I? Because I started off with eight, and then my number, when I had taken four away, meant, so you can still see that there's four that I've taken away there, meant that I only had four left. That was a taking away one. Okay, right. The last one I'm going to do without using anything in front of me because you can use something in front of you. So let's have a see. See if you can work out what you think I'm doing. Am I doing adding? Am I doing subtracting? You could talk about what happens to the number. Is the number getting larger because we're adding? Is the number getting smaller because we are taking away? Um, ready for my story. An astronaut wanted to get seven moon rocks. See if you can find seven moon rocks. Or if you want to, they could be something different. You can pause if you need more time. Then an alien came along and took three of the moon rocks away. How many were left? Okay, ladybirds. So see if you can work out that challenge and work out why I asked you. Is this using your addition skills, your adding skills? Is it using subtraction skills where you're taking away? Or, well, can you also have a go at maybe thinking a little bit about what has happened to that number overall? What's happened to that whole number? See if you can use your words. The whole number has... <gasps> What's happened to it? Has the whole number got larger? Has the whole number got smaller? See if you can have a go at solving that challenge. Well done, ladybirds. I hope you really enjoy your um, challenges today. I have lots of fun. And I will look forward to teaching you again soon. See you later.